Now let's board the starship. Sorry, Mario, I can't fly any further. Bowser's starship is way too fast for me. Please try it with your ca cape. Good luck. Sign Yoshi. Let's go. Let's fly up here so that we can avoid all the enemies. As flying was, of course, intended in this level. Or in this room. Ironically, not the rest of the level. Just this one part. By the way, instead of the usual pipes, we have these little portals. And this level is probably the long, the s longest or the second longest in the game. It depends, though. Could be either Chaos Complex or this. Instead of lava, we have these death lasers, which work better for an airship. The original Yoshi's final flight looked unusual. This one actually looks more like an airship. Beware. Upside down saws can be a nuisance. Eh. It's pretty much impossible to take Yoshi into this airship if you tried. Oh, I see I've got a ledge here. Here too. Beware of the lasers, though. The, the clearance between the, the ceiling and the lasers is lower than the original TSRP to make this a bit, a bit harder. Except at least this castle compared to TSRP, actually has a halfway point. Careful. Good. Now we've got a balloon segment. This'll be quite annoying. We really only get one chance for this one. And if you glitch through a chuck, you're probably not going to make it. There might be more balloons this time than there were in the original, though. But I don't know. Whew. Now, why would the balloon go upwards if you're supposed to go down? Just wrong. And that's just narrow. Like so. Good. Now what? Whew. Beware. Really wary of this. The fact that you have to avoid them when going up makes this a little hard. Guess what? In this level, I think the halfway point might be early. So the fact that we haven't seen it yet... That should give you a hint. Ow. Come on. Oh, <laughs> Got that. And that. 
craze. Got crazy. And well, up this pipe. Still no halfway point yet. But we're probably going to find some water in this part. The reason why this level is long is obvious. The creator tried to use all the rooms in the original Bowser's castle. And some of them might have been shared. What's here? Nothing. Is that ju just a decoration? Who knows? Presumably, because of that one. Get rid of you. Ah! <laughs> Going under would probably work. Here is our halfway point. Attention all personal. The engines are loaded and we are ready to jump to our own world. Reach Mushroom Kingdom in a few minutes. Now don't blame some of the spelling errors. I believe the creator of this hack was German, so there might be the occasional typo. But in most cases, this did appear to be proofread. Overall, it is quite good. You could try going under, too, but... No, you couldn't try going under because of those spikes. Spikes would be annoying. And one of these pipes is correct. The other two contain torpedo tads. Here we go. More piranha plants. And putaboos coming out of the lasers. Eh. Lava would probably burn an airship anyway, so. I think it was replaced. Could have been recolored, though. That would have at least made it feasible. Tight jumps. Not too big of a deal. What's in this pipe? Presumably nothing. Because we gotta go in the door, apparently. Don't know why they don't use pipes more often for this. Oh, don't be too hasty. Forget the cape, or the fire flower. I'm going, I'm going to fly. However, I'm not going to fly in, in the case of speed. I'm going to fly in the case of gravity. The vertical, as opposed to the horizontal. The one where fly can mean flee. Oh man. <laughs> Just love the English language. And the invisible coin block right there. I'm running into a ninja, too. Also running right into the laser. I was about to say lava, but that was old times. This is today. Actually, TSRP2 Reloaded, I believe, is today. In addition, maybe to TSRP3, but I'm not sure. Is TSRP3 around yet? I'm not sure. 
Now might be the time to screen scroll yet again. Spikes can fall early now. Love that glitch. So beneficial. You could probably see the spikes anyway by seeing which ones are reversed. But I prefer to make things easier for myself rather than harder. Oop. Oh, the memories of Freeze Flame Rock. Only this time we got lasers instead of lava. As I keep on mentioning. Save. This is crazy. You gotta stand right on the very edge if you want to live. Or you gotta have a cape. So I'm saving here, just as a safety measure. Hence the word save. <laughs> Why do I need to be too redundant? More of this. Beware of these spikes, though. Great hazard. An interesting line pattern. Water floating in midair. Well, at least it's graphically sound. Hey. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should spin jump out of this. Guess that might work. Yep. Works. Definitely. Did not mean to pause there, though. Though it probably would have helped. More water! Only this time I think it's vertical. Beware. Wouldn't it be annoying if spikes could actually go upwards? Pretty sure it would. Oh, boy. Clockwise, they go. Clockwise, I will go. And now we've got some crushers. Re Real annoying crushers. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. And to make matters worse, the fire that comes out of those pipes actually hurts. Meh. Easy to avoid, I guess. That one... is hardly visible. Okay. So this is the second to last room. And the ceiling is too narrow to just fly over it. Old one said final, this one says finale. 
So, let's go ahead and pause the recording. Okay. I want the entry into Bowser's door to be safe. Because... I don't know about because, but... It's a little bit annoying that... That this part is still timed, unfortunately. You can actually make this considerably easier by... Well, using a cape. Or... Grabbing the bombs right away. Of course... Since this is, since this is just the typical mouser boss... He will have the downside of... He can randomly throw bombs at you and they ricochet off of him. As just happened twice in a row. Three times in a row. Okay, maybe not the third time, but... There we go. Bowser is defeated. Again. By gaining command of Bowser's starship and his immensely immense firepower... I guess I'm not the only one who's redundant. Mario was able to scatter the entire invasion fleet into the five corners of the Mushroom Kingdom. To prevent anyone from exploiting Second Reality's power supply station again, Mario used Bowser's starship to warp to the Second Reality and disabled the power switch, powering down all the gateways. Upon returning to the Mushroom Kingdom, Mario had the starship's jump engine disassembled. Finished with the task of completely cutting off the second reality, he decided to keep the rest of the ship intact. After all, it had immensely, immense firepower. Of course, Bowser doesn't quit. He'll undoubtedly be back again. But for now, the Mushroom Kingdom is safe and controls a powerful defensive weapon. Bowser will think twice, maybe thrice, before he hatches another scheme again. The end. Second reality project reloaded. And the time is reset to zero. Presented by FPI. Based on Super Mario World. Created by Nintendo, although not the hack. Level and overworld design. FPI. Graphics rip and setup FPI. Original graphics by Icegoom, Ibs, Tenji, g Anonymato, and FPI. In game text supervisor, the creator of Rise to the Challenge, Axum Jinx. Custom blocks by SMK Dan, creator of Panic and Mushroom Kingdom. A whole bunch, a number of others, including Super Mario TKO, there's Morrow again, and there's FPI. Music by FPI, and Koji Kondo, Hirokazu Tanaka, whatever. Names we've probably already seen in other credits before, so they're probably a little more notable. Only a little. They're just credits anyway, in some people's opinions. Ludwig's Castle theme by SNN. Beta Tester, FBI, Axum Jinx, and BN, or whatever. Fasoya, Small Hacker, for additional special thanks. Listen to many others. Of course, SMW Central. Mario's photo album. <laughs> Derivative of SMW for the music. The first reality. AKA reality. <laughs> Got the typical enemies from Super Mario World, just in a different order. 
there probably will be some different ones. In, in the first reality, of course. Second reality will definitely be different, and so will the third reality. Blarg, written in vertical. wonder why Bonsai Bill looks narrow, and he still has the same hitbox. Thing to call them floating mines, I usually think the mines explode, but okay. Sumo Brother needs such a big photo, doesn't he? Wiggler looks like might be out of Mario Kart Wii or something. Or maybe New Super Mario. Whatever you can think of for the newer consoles. Nokabon. And the fly. And fuzzy. Nokabon explodes. The fly, of course, flies. And what's the invisible fish? Very funny. Super Koopas, too. Again with such a big photo. wonder if some of the names are going to be repeated just for the third space. There's Thwimp and Thwomp, of course, paired together. <laughs> Kamek versus Magikoopa, you decide. I say Kamek, although I sometimes say Magikoopa as well. So I guess they're both correct. And this time, Reznor's wheel is actually the correct color. Iggy and Larry, Roy, Morton, and Ludwig, and Lemmy and Wendy in their separate photos. The second reality. Again, Parabombs and bob -ombs. Porcupo, derivative of Sonic, or possibly from SMB2 on All-Stars. Panzer, also SMB2. Rocket Ship, Para Ladybug, and Ladybug. The Ladybugs being the Goombas. Bonsai Billy as opposed to just regular Bonsai Bill or Bullet Bill. Mecha Mines. We're talking about explosives. Mechanical Mines. Wait, there's the Gold Bowser statue. And of course there's Bowser. And now, third space. got the Mask Koopas from the original SMW if you beat the Special World. Bloody Bill for Bonsai. The Yoshex for Rex. Muncher. Football Charlie. Very funny. And Dolphin. Jumping Piranha Plant and Venus Fire Traps, of course. Jeep Jeeps and Blurps are pretty much similar except for the graphics. Blooper is different.
Big Boo also looks a little bit freakier. Swooper instead of the normal bats. Spikes, Chain Chomp, Baron, Vod, Zeppelin, and Needle Nose. Kaboomba. That's what the Kaboomba is. <laughs> My mistake. And the Flying Mine, which is just a ball and chain. Shark Bone, the Fish Bone, Thwoo <laughs> for a Thwomp. Bony Beetle, and Magikoopa is down there. Okay. Tomato Man! And Berserker Bills, the ones at home at you. Mecha Koopa again. And the Piranha Plants, of course. The Robox. Small and big. Silox Zero. The enemy Robox. Marty Mole. The one we meet. Who is that? Just an eyeball. I guess it makes sense. The end. A few days later... <laughs> so, this is that powerful switch you were talking about? Hey. Zyklobu again. Yes, the power is off. Quite thoughtful of Mario to deactivate it, but that won't hinder me in the slightest. But, we can't enable it. We're ghosts. Yes, but I must confess, I already have the right man for the job. This'll be quite interesting. <laughs> to be continued. <laughs>